I focus on some on Android.com where we get <sighs> on Android every day. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to customize your always on display on a rooted Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, before I begin, you will need a rooted Galaxy S7 Edge with exposed installer framework installed. If you don't have a rooted phone, go to galaxyS7root.com and root your phone first. Once you have it rooted, go ahead and install exposed installer and framework. If you don't know how to do this, again, go to highonandroid.com. I have tutorial there. I'll put the tutorial link in the description below. All right, once you have a rooted phone with exposed installed, you're ready to go. Step one. Run Exposed Installer app on your phone and make sure framework has been installed correctly. Step two, go to apkquick.com, click on Galaxy X Mod APK. Once you're on that page, scroll down and find the link to the download link. Once on the download page, scroll all the way down to download here, then wait five seconds to download the file. Click on the download link to download the APK file. Step three, once downloaded, use ES File Explorer to open the APK file and install. You may have to check unknown sources on in settings if you haven't yet. Step four, once installed, reboot your phone. Step five, once rebooted, open up Exposed Installer, tap on Modules, then activate the Galaxy S mod and reboot again. Step six, after rebooting, you can now fully use Galaxy X Mod. Launch the app and you'll be able to replace the always on display date text to something like high on Android. Turn the screen off and boom shakalaka. You got your own custom text on your always on display. Now Galaxy X Mod also allows you to customize missed message apps up to two custom apps. For example, if you want always on display to notify you of new emails and Twitter notifications, you can do it right here. For Gmail, you can even set the type of inbox to get notifications from. I hear that users of WhatsApp really like this feature to replace regular messaging with WhatsApp. All right, step seven. Here's the coolest part of the tutorial enabling custom always on display wallpapers. Go ahead and turn on replace AOD wallpaper. Set the random interval for multiple wallpapers to one minute or higher. You'll have to get a wallpaper size 1600 by 2440 pixels in JPEG or PNG format and place them into a special directory. Let me show you how to do that and you can also download some of my wallpapers if you don't have Photoshop. Alright, step 8. Here's a quick example on how to make Iron Man always on display wallpaper. Google some images for Iron Man. Step 9. Then save the image and open up in Photoshop. Step 10. Make a new image with size of 1600 by 2440 pixels. Step 11, make the background black. Step 12, copy and paste Iron Man image into the new image. Step 13, save the image somewhere in your computer as JPEG or PNG. Step 14, make a new folder in the internal storage of Galaxy S7 Edge exactly as AOD underscore wallpapers. Step 15, copy over all the images you want to use for always on display. Step 16, Next, go to your phone, go into Settings, Display, then to Always on Display. Make sure Content to Show is set to Clock and Background Image is set. If Background Image is set to None, your image will not show. Step 17, turn off the screen and now you will see your new Always on Display custom wallpaper. Congratulations! Step 18, if you have multiple images, it will automatically rotate every minute or how many minutes you set. Step 19, now there's two additional features Galaxy X Mod does. You can also switch your phone to gray screen anytime you want to save battery life. There's also infinite theme trial that allows you to use trial themes without the five minute limit. That's pretty much it, but the Galaxy X Mod can help you customize your always on screen to the fullest. And of course, if you're interested in converting your S7 Edge into Iron Man Edition, don't forget to check out my Iron Man theme boot animation tutorials. I'll have all the links that I mentioned here in the description below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And don't forget to send me photos of your own always on display. That looks really cool. You can tweet me with your Twitter photo. That'll be kind of fun. Have a great day, folks. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.